getting to know all about you Getting to like you Getting to hope you like me Well, welcome back uh, to another episode of Getting to Know You. And today we are going to meet with one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. His name is Keith, Keith Fraser, and we are going to be talking with him. Um, you're going you're gonna to love him. Here's Keith. Well, hello, Keith. Hello, Mona. Nice to oh. see you. Talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. So good. So good. How, how have you been? We've been fine. You know, we've, uh, we're staying healthy. Good. And, uh, staying emotionally healthy as well. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of work around the house. Like, uh, it's got to the point where I'm asking Linda <laughs> to put on the honeydew. <laughs> That's great. I'm running out of things to do. But we don't get out a, an awful lot. Like, we do a lot of online ordering. Like, I was just talking to the UPS guy, and, uh, you know, he's got uh, 389 Fitbit challenges just from running back and forth uh, from the, the truck to our house. Uh, <laughs> we do go out. It's a bit, you know, a bit awkward. You have to put the mask on. I, I didn't like putting the mask on at first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but then I realized it hides your double chin. So <laughs> I think, hey, I'm going to wear the mask all the time, whether this is over or not. I'm going to wear the mask all the time. <laughs> Can you tell us who you are um, isolating with these days? Well, we're with, uh, well, just, you know, Linda and uh, Bailey. Get over here. Come here. Come here. Can you come over here? No. Yeah. She, I want her to come over. She's not going to come over. But Bailey, our lovely little cocker spaniel. Yeah. I'll call you once more. She's sitting there looking out the window, one of her favorite things these days. Um, but, see, but we were, we've were been retired for a while, so, you know, it hasn't really been that big of a, a change, you know, for us. You yeah. know, uh, I try and learn, you know, something new every day. Just, just for an example, the things I like to learn. I was talking about this, these Pringle boxes, bottles here. You know, like, I, I didn't know what what, the, what this thing was for, but apparently it's for resealing if you don't finish your Pringles. Who opens a thing of Pringles doesn't finish it? Hey, Dave, toy for you to play with. And another thing about the Pringles. Yes. People eat Pringles. Look at the look at the, the the lid here. How are you supposed to get your fingers in there to get the Pringles? Like, they must have designed it for like a six-year-old girl. You know, the wrist of a six-year-old girl to get in there. That, that's just crazy. You are learning so many things. Yes, I'm I'm, I'm trying to learn the new things every day. And that was okay. So that was today's learning. That was today's. That was today's work. Ex right. Excellent. So um, I don't need to um, ask you about how you are alleviating any stress or anxiety because I don't think you have any. No, so no, but good. No, but I do do miss the, you know not playing to the drums and yes, going to church and playing the drums, or going out to play the drums with uh, others. Here's the past here. Come here, say hi. Oh, there's, there's, oh, oh, what a beauty. Hello, Billy. Oh, she got the Pringles. Oh, you you got uh, Bailey um, earlier this year, right? I mean, the timing was perfect. Yeah, well, about, uh, she came from Portugal. She was born in Portugal, and we got her about a week before they shut everything down. Yeah. So, uh, it worked out great. She's keeping us well entertained. Yes. And how's Linda doing? Oh, well, she's just out doing a little food shopping right now. No, like I said, a big change, no. The frustrating thing is I just need some little thing to do a project around the house and just to run out to the store and I got a mask up and then line up for 15 minutes. Uh, you know, I'm used to just going and getting, getting what I want and getting out. But uh, yeah, yeah. that's the first frustration I have. I think, I'm, I think we're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. That's great. Tell me, this is a big question that I'm asking everybody, Keith. Um, where have you seen God in this? Well, you know, 
Yeah, I've been thinking about that. If you if you went back and knew me fifty years ago, yeah. No, you know, found a a big dumb kid that liked to play drums, and, <coughs> oh, and a big dumb kid that like you know, liked to draw cartoons. <laughs> and here I am, an adult, fifty years later. I'm still doing the the, the same thing. I, I'm not the brightest, sharpest knife in the drawer. Yeah. Academically, it hasn't been great. I don't have letters behind my name, not like Dr. Reverend Dr. Mona who has enough letters behind her name. She could start a new language. <laughs> so I've always depended on people to give me the right direction, you know, whether it's doctors and scientists and governments and, and the business. But with the COVID, it seemed like they were all uh, you know, they didn't know what to do. Yeah. They're all, you know, you're getting conflicting stories from here, there, and everywhere. And uh, that kind of rattled me a little yeah. bit. But then when I went for walks, you know, I, I'm seeing God's love and grace out on the street with people with families and people that are helping one another. And I, I really think that's where I'm seeing, you know, God's work right now, this love and grace at a real grassroots level. Mm. Hopefully that will continue. And that's basically where it is. I don't see anything, you know, the lightning in the sky and things like that. But it's the, okay. the little thing. You know, like in, in the Bible it says, and I'm paraphrasing here, about, you know, life is like a mist. You know, you're here one day and, and gone the next. And I don't think God really wants us to live in fear, but to live in, in love mm -hmm. in the short time that we're here. And that's what we're, we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, continue helping people as best we can. And hopefully, like I said, that will continue. That's amazing. Keith, thank you. Is there anything else you want to share with us? Oh, no, that's, uh, that's about it. But, uh, this program is filmed before a live audience and sponsored by by Pringles. Good for you and the kitties too. And oh, not, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, Bailey. I can't get. Okay, Mona, I'll let you go. Love you. Love you too, Keith. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Keith, you um, really are amazing. Love, love, love chatting with you. Thank you for giving us some time to get to know you. Um, there will be more episodes of Getting to Know You coming up, so stay tuned. Love you all. Be safe. Be well. God bless. Putting it my way, but nicely. You are precisely my cup of tea. Getting to know.